To download private internet access VPN for your mobile phone, it's actually very simple. So the first thing we need to do is to go to our web browser and you want to go to privateinternetaccess.com. Alternatively, I will leave an affiliate link in the description in case you want to get yourself the best possible discount and support the channel at the same time. Once you're on the website, all you need to do is click on the draw just in the top right hand corner. And then you want to click on the apps drop down menu and select the device you are currently using. If you're using Android, you want to select that. However, we are using an iPhone, so we are going to select Apple iOS. So once you are on the device page, all you need to do is scroll down slightly to where it says download PIA for iOS or whatever device you're using. And here it's going to open the application store for your mobile device. And then you just want to go ahead and download the app. Now it's important to note that you will need a private internet access account to use this VPN. So if you haven't got one already, you want to click on get private internet access for iOS or whichever device you're using. And then you want to select a payment plan that works for you. And again, I've got affiliate link in the description in case you want to get yourself the best possible deal. Okay, so once you've got the application downloaded and your account set up, all you need to do is go ahead and open the app on your mobile phone, and then you'll be greeted with a logon screen. So you just want to click login, and then you want to type in your user information just as you normally would. So once you've logged in for the first time, Private Internet Access will ask you to create a VPN profile. Now this may differ depending on which device you're using, but on iPhone it looks like this. So you just want to click OK, and then you want to click on Allow. You then want to type in your PIN, and then your VPN profile has been created. So now the VPN has been fully set up, we just need to go ahead and use it. So to do this, we simply need to click on VPN server in the middle of the screen, and then you want to select a VPN server from any country of your choice. But in this case, I'm just going to use the automatic option. From here, you just want to click on the big power button in the middle of the screen, and the VPN server should connect immediately. And once you're connected to the VPN server of your choice, you can go ahead and start browsing the internet just as you normally would. And that's it. So if you have any questions or comments, leave them below and I'll reply to you as soon as I can.